Hi, my name is Chris Hart and I'm the Space Business Development Manager within the High Reliability Group at Texas Instruments. Harsh environments such as high temperatures found in downhole drilling applications and cosmic rays found in deep space create unique challenges for semiconductor components. Meeting these stringent requirements can be especially difficult for the power supply designer. Now I'm going to show you how designing a high current, low noise power supply for harsh environments just got easier. This is due to the current sharing features found in the TPS7H1101-SP and the TPS7H1201-HT low dropout regulator. Low dropout regulators are preferred over switching DC to DC converters when board area, low noise, and accuracy are important. Here we see a basic circuit diagram of two LDOs or low dropout regulators connected for current sharing operation. The PCL pin of LDO2 is then connected to the CS pin of LDO1 through another RCL resistor. The value of this resistor connected to the PCL pin sets the current limit threshold. By current sharing two devices you can meet the higher current demands and reduce MTBF or mean time between failure of a single device by sharing the stress between two devices. These figures highlight the current sharing accuracy of the devices. Figure 1 shows the percent of load current for each device versus the total output current for the TPS7H1101-SP. At 1.5 amps output current, the device's current share within 2% up to 6 amps. Figure 2 shows the percent of load current for each device versus the total output current for the TPS7H1201-HT. At a half an amp output current, the device's current share within 2% up to 1 amp. The space and high temperature LDOs are great companions to the TPS50601-SP and the TPS50301-HC DC to DC synchronous point of load converters with integrated FETs. Now I'm going to show you a demo with our space POL supplying power to two of the TPS7H1101-SP LDOs set up for current sharing. The POL is supplied with a 5 volt DC source generated from this AC to DC power supply. This evaluation board can be used to parallel four PLL devices for up to 24 amp support. For this demo, only a single PLL device is required. The output of the PLL has been configured for a 1.8 volt output as shown on this voltage meter. The output of the LDO has been configured for a 1.5 volt output as shown on this voltage meter. I have also set up current meters to show how well each LDO is current sharing. As you can see, the devices are sharing within 150 milliamps. Before these LDOs were released, many system designers used linear regulators with higher dropout, forcing them to dissipate more power in the LDO. This causes the power system to be more inefficient. There are two more features that I wanted to mention, the soft start and the power good output. When you use the soft start capacitor, you can control the inrush current on the power supply as the system powers up. This allows a system to power up smoothly without current limiting the system supply or dipping the system power bus. The power good output can be used as part of the system designer's power sequencing circuitry. This is especially useful for FPGAs and microprocessors where the power sequencing can be very critical. Engineering models, reference schematics, evaluation boards, piecewise models, and webbench design support is available for each device. For more information, please visit the following links. Thanks for watching.